Hello, hello. Welcome to Rise Above with Tammy Lynn. I am Tammy Lynn and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your life, to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith and finishing strong in Jesus name. Today, we're going to have a little bit of a difficult conversation, but a conversation that needs to be had, a message that um, has been stirring in me and one that I must deliver in obedience to Christ. Christ is calling us all back to our first love, which is him. Deep has been calling unto deep. We are in a time and in a season that it is going to be really good for those who are seeking after the Lord and honoring the Lord. But it is also going to be a um, not so good season for the wicked because judgment is coming upon the wicked. I do not want you, my brother, my sister in Christ, to miss what God has for you in this season. It is a new wine season and you cannot put new wine in old wine skin. There are some things of the past that needs to be let go. There are some old ways of doing things that needs to stop. There are some old ways of thinking that needs to change. I want to help you in your walk with Christ. I want to empower you to go deeper with the Lord and to gain a greater understanding of his word and to learn to walk in the power and the authority he has given unto you. And with that, there's things that I must also tell you so that you do not open doors to the enemy. Years ago, when I was getting my Bachelor of Science in Christian Ministries, I recall one of my classes, we were um, discussing um, occults. And one of the things that I had learned in there, they, they talked about yoga. I mean, the textbook talked about yoga. And yoga is something that just has always seemed so simple, um, so pure. But I had learned, and to be honest, like I knew that I heard the Holy Spirit during that time, but I didn't do yoga and I've never actually done yoga. But um, I knew that I heard him. And even though I was deep at that time, I didn't go as deep as um, I later went. I just knew that he was saying yoga is not good for Christians. Over the past few years, he's highlighted this time and time again, as I have um, come to know a lot of people who are very involved in yoga and the majority of them Christians. And I began to see things happening within their life that um, it was demonic attacks. So I'm not going to go into all detail with that. I'm going to pretty much be short and to the point with this. I saw a list the other day, and I think I found this on my Facebook, and I screenshotted it, and it was occult practices. I'm just going to read these. And I believe that the Holy Spirit is going well, he is. He's going to minister. And to those of you who have ears that truly want to hear the truth of God, because you want to walk in the abundant life that Christ has called you to walk in, and you want to walk in the authority that he's given unto you, and you want to walk in the victories that he has for you, then I believe there's going to be a spirit of humility that even if something on this list has been something that you've participated in in the past, or currently are that you're not going to send me the email telling me how wrong I am. Okay. You're going to take it to the Lord. You're going to ask the Holy Spirit to minister more to you. You're going to do a Jeremiah 33, three phone call, and you're going to call out to him. And then he's going to reveal great and unsearchable things to you that you don't know. I'm just a messenger. Do not hate the messenger. And I come with the love of the Father for you. And I come with the compassion to see you walk in victory and to walk in authority. And even though we're going to have trials and tribulations on this earth, let's do them with not opening the doors to the enemy. Some of these occult practices that I'm going to share some of you, I mean, the Holy Spirit's going to show you. Again, I'm just the messenger. I'm not going to do some hour video message on it. I don't compel to do that. But again, if you really want to know and if you want to open yourself up to just the possibility, okay, Lord, is this possible that I've been doing this, but this is the cause? That is the root cause of this. Some of you, it could be back pain. It could be headaches. It could be anxiety. 
It could be addictions, strong, strong, just strongholds, okay? A lot of people don't realize that a backache can actually come from unforgiveness. And I've also discovered people who had, uh, can you say, it? participated in yoga would experience a lot of back pain. But they would continue going back because somehow it would kind of create a release. But the back pain never officially went away. So I'm going to let the Holy Spirit take you deeper in that. There's resources out there. There's ultimately the Bible, who is the greatest go-to, period. Um, but there are trustworthy Christian um, books out there that you can also seek if you want to go deeper in that. So again, I'm just a messenger. This is going to be difficult more for you probably than for me because you're probably about to be tested because I can already sense some of you are going to get really offended at me, um, but I'm not here for subscribers. And if I lose subscribers, that's okay because I'm also know that my obedience is going to gain freedom in the one who has ears and really want to hear this. So I'm just going to read off the list. Occult practices, Ouija board, palm reading, automatic writing, ESP mind control, hypnotism, horoscopes. And I'm telling you what, years ago, I sure did. I faithfully in the Sunday paper, because you know, newspapers used to be the thing back then. I don't know if they are anymore, but they would always have the daily horoscope in it. I looked so many times. I even did like the psychic readings. I have repented of that. Okay. And there's been um, a reverse on the curse that I myself brought in because I was innocent and I didn't realize it was witchcraft. Okay. So, cause I know some of you are thinking, well, it's just a horoscope. Okay. Talk, talk to the Lord about it. I'm just the messenger astrology. And we're going to talk a little bit more about um, astrology, like numbers. Okay. Fortune telling, water witching, tarot cards, pendulum, charms of protection, crystals, crystal balls, false religions, Tai Chai. I don't know what that is. There's actually a few on here, y'all. I don't even know how to pronounce them. I don't know what it is, but hey, I mean, if you're doing something, you want to know if the Lord is like, okay with it, go ask him. He's going to show you. Okay. Martial arts. Now that's going to be like huge because I know a lot of people on that. Uh, acupuncture. That's another huge one. And a lot of Christians, we didn't, we didn't know this. But again, if you make that 33-3 phone call, he will reveal it to you. If you really want to know, if you want to live the victorious life, if you want to get every door closed on the demons that is contending against you, your family, your marriage, your health, your finances, your business, your ministry, then come on. Let's go get real with him. Let's find out. Let's learn what we need to know. Um, energy healing, table body lifting, reincarnation, dungeons and dragons, channeling, obia, centuria, Psychic healing, psychic hotline. I mean, I had to repent. I sure did. I closed every door to every witch trying to operate in my line. Fortune telling, voodoo, Freemasonry. That is huge. And I can tell you that when I ha used to do a, um, a, a, be a, work in a deliverance ministry and even in deliverance books that I have, a lot of Christians do not realize that even if they themselves, or maybe not even their parents, operated in it. That I've seen it to where great grandparents, great 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 grandparents was part of the Freemasonry. And I'm not trying to put labels, and I am not, I am not judging anyone. I am bringing a word of truth to set whoever needs to hear this free and to help you get the doors closed to principalities operating in your life and in your bloodline. And I'm bringing this with all love. So again, it's not a judgment, but if you want to know what is going on, if you're seeing a toxic cycle, if you're seeing a cycle of addictions, a cycle of poverty, a cycle of abandonment, a cycle of sexual abuse, cycles, constant being betrayed in your life, Constantly having people walk out in your life. Constantly walking out um, from other people. Okay, there is something going on. So Freemasonry, superstition, spirit guides, animal totems, witchcraft, 
Satanism, numerology, okay, numerology, astrology. We're, we're going to talk more on that. Um, satanic music, reflexology, magnetic killing, applied kinesiology, biofeedback, iridology, yoga. I'm just the messenger. Trust me, I know a lot of people. I, I love them. I love them. And I never had a release from the Holy Spirit to go tell them, but this is my release. So hopefully they're going to come across this. And I do have some that um, are very dearly connected to me and they were participating in yoga. And I've seen the power of prayer instead of speaking and telling them, oh, you should do that. You know, that's a sin, you know, with some religious spirit, there's power in prayer. So if it's not you, but it's someone that you love and you're seeing something going on in their life, then you can pray. You can pray for them. You can stand in the gap for them. Um, Twilight series, vampire, vamp vampire wait a minute vampirism this is gonna get a lot of people too. harry potter when i see harry potter in people's homes i just want to scream get it out get it out it's witchcraft <laughs> i just feel like saying lord protect me from the emails because y'all just don't know okay biofeedback mac i don't know what that is either chain letters dream catchers Another huge one, I've seen like dream catchers, like, oh my God, you go to flea markets, oh, they're all over the place, really great deal, really pretty, look really cute, look cute hanging in the room. Had them before, had my oldest daughter, she she used to love them. There is not a dream catcher in my house anymore. Nope, sure isn't. Uh, medicine wheels, mediums, witchcraft wicca, voodoo, and I think it already said voodoo. Lucky $2 bill or coin, rabbit's foot. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. If any of you are um, participating in that, before you get offended at me, want to reject me, thinking that I'm not of God, okay, you believe in Jesus Christ, I believe in Jesus Christ too. Again, I'm just a messenger. I want to help you live the victorious life that you are called to live. And I want you to be able to do it um, walking in the power and authority he has given to you. And knowledge is powerful. So when he says, I've given you the authority, the power and the authority, he's given you knowledge. So when you gain knowledge, knowledge is powerful because then you have the power to do something with it. The knowledge he gives you helps uh, you to pray over a situation correctly. Rather than just pray for a restoration of a marriage, you know, you may need to go to some generational curses that have been operating. Because it's not your spouse. It was doors open in the bloodline prior to you even saying I do. So anyways, I can go on. I feel like I can go on and on. Please just take that to the Lord, my brothers and my sisters in Christ. Just humbly take it to the Lord. If you don't agree, that's okay. Please don't email me. But if you do, I'm used to some of the ridiculous emails. Um, I'm not against you. I am for you. Okay, the other thing that I want to uh, talk about um, that I'm really big on is numbers. God speaks to me through numbers. And I've received some of the, the hate emails and people want to say that I'm operating in witchcraft or, you know, astrology, numerology, all these things. That is a lie. I, I don't do that. I don't touch that stuff at all. The Lord does speak through numbers. I mean, he has a whole book called Numbers, you know, in his word. Um, but, and I also know that a lot of other people... I'm um, also hear God through numbers. So I absolutely love numbers, but I do not participate in the numerology. I mean, you can go uh, on online and if you go, go, if you even Google the meaning of the biblical number of three or 33 or 333, it'll come up with some Christian stuff, but then you'll also see like some, it'll take you to some astrology sites numerology, all these other things, that's witchcraft. That is not the Lord. And if you are spirit filled and you know that the Lord is speaking to you through a number or through numbers, then be careful of the resource because even those resources can make it almost sound like it's Christian, but you don't want that door open. We have one true God. Okay. And he has given us the Holy Spirit 
who speaks to us. So allow the Holy Spirit to speak. I had a conversation the other night with a sister in Christ and she had mentioned that she wished that there was, you know, a, a Christian book, like a prophetic book for numbers. Well, I know that they're out there. So today, as this was stirring on my spirit and I knew I just needed to release this um, message, then um, I began like searching because I wanted to find something that would be a free resource, a safe place for spirit filled Christians to go. And I found one. So y'all ready? Get your pen and paper and write this down. Lorelai Cooley. She is a prophetess. I don't know if she refers to herself as that. I know that I carry a prophetic voice. I do not um, want a title. Do not seek that. And it does me no good when people call me that. Um, I'm just here as a messenger of the Lord. And yes, I know that I do carry a prophetic voice and I do hear from the Lord. I love her. She's very humble. She's very trustworthy. Okay. So you can go to her website, lauralaicooley.com. And um, you can even get her prophetic words on there. But I had found that she also has resources. Go to the resources tab. And I just love it. I mean, it's just to the point. So you can go to a place to have the Holy Spirit speak to you if you are seeing particular numbers over and over again. Like I noticed she did the single digits, the double digits, the triple digits, the quadruple digits. I mean, she's deep. Um, I noticed there was numbers. Um, and there was also something else she had on there, but go to her resources. The numbers have been huge because I want you to know, he wants you to know that he is speaking to you through numbers. Maybe you're seeing 444 or you're seeing 222, you're seeing 777 or you're seeing 33 or 333. Okay. He is speaking, but be careful when you're going to Google or you're looking at books to make sure it is not witchcraft. Don't read it. Don't entertain it. There's one voice that you are to follow, and that is our Father God. Okay? And the Holy Spirit speaks. So I really hope that helps. I'm really super excited because it's not like you have to go to uh, Amazon or Mardell's or Books a Millions, other places. I mean, if you want to and you want to have the book, make sure it's Christian. Look at the author. Okay? Um, but if you don't want to do that, go to Laura Lai Cooley's website. It's just absolutely amazing. It was such a blessing that I found that. Um, and so that was just so God because he wanted you to know there's a safe place for you to go and get a deeper understanding on those numbers. Okay. So again, be careful where you turn people of God. There is trials and tribulations that we have upon this earth, but we do not operate against flesh and blood, but with principalities. So do not entertain the principalities. Be wise, discern, and stay in the spirit. So I hope that helps you all out. I hope that uh, that just motivates you to even go deeper and to certainly watch for the connections and allow the Holy Spirit to show you if there's any doors that need to get closed. Because that door is that is open could be the very door that needs to get closed. And once it, once it close, closes, you're going to step into a breakthrough. You're going to step into a miracle. You're immediately going to be healed from that back pain. You're immediately going to be healed from that neck pain. You're immediately going to be healed, healed. Immediately, your soul is going to be restored. You're going to find a relief. You're going to find that you have peace. So allow the Holy Spirit. He's the greatest counselor at all. Allow him to speak and minister to you. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. And until next time, shalom.